What is up, YouTube? How's everyone doing? As you see in front of you, I, there is a lot of fishing lures and a couple of miscellaneous items. And that is because I went to Bass Pro today. So I was showing you guys what I got, what it's for, and how to use it. Um, I won't really be unboxing everything. I'm just going to kind of be showing you whatever, um, all the different things I got. Um, what I kind of went for and they didn't have, which was pretty disappointing. It would have been a great point in the video. And what I have right here, these two spools of line and the spinnerbait box, I got at Dick's. Um, we all go over it in the video though. Um, just that stuff will be at the end. And the price of all this will also be at the end. And, you know, I tried to keep the lures as cheap as possible. There's a couple good ones in there. There's a couple ones I didn't have a choice on the price. But um, I'll give you a rough estimate on the price of each lure as we go along. Alright, here we go. So first I'll get this boring stuff out of the way. Maybe to some of you it won't be boring. But either way, I'll get this stuff out of the way first. Because it's not lures or, you know, stuff like that. So first I got a hat. And the only reason I got this hat, it's a nice mesh back hat. Um, the only reason I got this hat was because, you know, it's nice and breathable. And honestly, mainly, it was $4. And I like red. So I got this hat. I got lip grippers because I do not have lip grippers or anything of that sort you have the adjustable wrist strap these lip grippers were only ten dollars just about and I think that they're gonna do a pretty decent job of just you know getting the rough fish the heavy fish hard to reach you know I think they'll work they might make appearances in some videos I'm sure they will I got rod socks this is a spinning um, spinning rod sock for a spinning rod. Um, not much to say about that. Um, I haven't showed you guys my rod and reel arsenal yet. Um, follow the channel. It'll be here eventually. Um, when I got my second rod, it will be. This is the second rod sock. This is for a baitcaster. Now, I just, just said that I don't have a arsenal video yet of all my equipment. Um, I don't have a baitcaster yet. And honestly, uh, this is actually kind of funny. <clears throat> I had a baitcaster. It was shipped to me Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Um, and I was unpacking it. And this thing was packed. It was really packed well. And I was unpacking it. And it was broken. One of the eyelets was broken. So I had to send it back. Um, it should be back at the destination on Friday, and then they should be sending me a new one for an exchange, which would be great. Um, stay tuned on the channel, and you will see that rod when it shows up. And I will do my best to teach you guys how to use it while I'm learning how to use it myself. However, I did get a little practice today on my friends. That's besides the point. Got a black rod sock for a baitcaster. And 3600 series... Plano boxes because they fit in my current tackle bag and I loaded up on lures today so I'm currently out of real estate and also the rod socks were about five dollars and the boxes were about six dollars and they are also Bass Pro Shop branded in the center so on to the beginning of the lures these are all deep diving crankbaits right here this is a topwater popper and this is a lipless crankbait and that is just like a topwater spook style. So going from right to left, we have a crawfish color, deep diver, crawfish. Then we have a fire tiger, deep diver. They all dive to about the same depth. Um, according to how the bills are all the same and how these are like identical crankbaits. This is like a chartreuse blackback. However, they call it hot mustard. And these are the Bass Pro branded lures. This one's the same. These are the Bass Pro branded lures. Um, they were on sale for $249, I believe, or $246. So I picked up a bunch of these. This is a natural shad, and it's got a black back. 
Threadfin Shad. I don't know what Threadfin's supposed to mean. <clears throat> or maybe it's a type of shad. I wouldn't know. I don't really have shad in my uh, consistent fishery. But um, there's a place I might be fishing this season that has them. So I got that just in case. This is a topwater popper. White. Closest to bone as possible because bone colored um, topwaters are supposed to be pretty good. White shad. According to the label. And then I got a chrome lipless crankbait, also known as a rattle trap. Um, I was actually about to get a rattle trap, um, but I did not get the rattle trap because I looked at the price of the rattle trap, which was approximately seven ish dollars. And then I went back and I realized that the bin I was searching through in the beginning of the, of the trip um, had another chrome lipless. Uh, so I figured why not get this chrome one? And this is also like a black back, kind of like a shad chrome black back. This is a topwater <clears throat> spook style lure. It's got weights in the back. It's got a little bead in the front. It's going to be really loud. Um, I know you, it's not really good to tell with the package because the hooks are banging around and so is the lure. Um, and that is going to be a speed pencil albino because it is kind of transparent. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but you can kind of see through it. You can see the beads in the back. There's little BBs in the front. Um, this one, however, um, was not in the sale bin because this is the XTS, not just the regular Bass Pro series. This one was about a dollar more, so it's like three fifty. And now, as the groups of items get smaller, I have <clears throat> um, underspin jig heads, which I have been looking for absolutely everywhere, and I knew almost 100% that going to Bass Pro, I'd be able to finally get them. You know what? I was 100% right, because I did. I got three of them. I got two white ones and a like silver type minnow looking one, all in half ounce. These two were white. And then I got two Colorado bladed spinner baits, which I also have not really been able to see um, or find anywhere else more local. So uh, this one is Fire Tiger and it's kind of like bluegill bright, you know, so it's kind of like a bluegill. Um, you can use it in clear water because it's kind of got really clear bluegill color on it. Or you could use it in dirty water water to um, uh, attract, you know, attract fish to it because it'll be brighter. So it's basically same purpose in, you know, clear water as it is in dirty water. Just the fish see it a little differently. And this one is a quarter ounce. And this one is also a Colorado blade. This one is just straight up um, black and red. Uh, this one is 3 8 ounce. This one is also better for dirty water um, and nighttime or dirty water at nighttime. This one's not really much of a clear water one because it would really stick out pretty bad. But uh, yeah. And as for the price of the Brass Pro Shop, Bass Pro Shop brand spinner baits. Um, Colorado blades they were five dollars each um, I was walking through the aisle you know looking around there was actually quite a decent selection of Colorado blade spinner baits um, I was settled upon the one I wanted um, again price came into mind I looked around a little more so the Bass Pro Shop had some decent ones picked out the colors I wanted um, the colors I thought would work best so I had faith in these colors I wanted the Colorado blade I'd throw my own trailer hook on there I have a video about how to do that, so check that out. I'll put that above. Um, they were $5 each. And as for the underspins, these guys, um, these little jig heads were a whopping $3 each. Like, that's insane. I don't understand why, but, you know, people buy them. I bought them, but... I've never used them before, so I'm really eager to give them a shot. Hope they work. Damn. Then you have this group of one lure. Very big group, right? This is also a lure I haven't really been able to find. It's an all-black buzz bait. That including the actual buzz propeller part of it being black. So this one is all 100% totally black. Um, and it's also 3 8 ounce. Um, this is for topwater. Early in the morning, 
or towards the night. And this Booyah Buzzbait was about um, $5. And it was really the only full black one in the aisle. Um, there was a couple other ones, a little like more like $7, but uh, got this for $5, so Booyah. And now I'm moving back to an actual rather large group. I have four MEPS Black Flirt Furies. Um, I have two of them in size three. Um, all Each one has the coontail kind of pattern blade. Um, wow, blade. The blade's up there, remember. Uh, tail. Um, and that is going to be brownish, yellow on the top, a black stripe, and yellow tip. It also has a red feather in the middle. Oh, also, black blade with yellow dots on it. Um, size 3. It's like standard size for like bass and pike and such, but usually pike prefer the bigger ones. And then I have the same one, same coontail type feel. This one is just a orange instead of yellow. Then I have the smaller ones. Uh, this one is orange and this is for... Oh, dropping the camera here. Let's adjust that. There we go. So, this one is for trout. Is it smaller? Is a size one? And it has orange. Then I move along to uh, another size one inline spinner, which is small for trout. This one is yellow. Moving on from the MEPS, we go to Rooster Tail. This is a 1 8 ounce white white tail trailer thing, chrome blade. And this one is the new hammered blade. So it's like a bronze, kind of ripply rough blade. Um, this one's yellow, yellow tail, same deal, 1 8 ounce. Oh, and by the way, the other white one that I just had here, that's also for trout along with this one, um, as they're smaller. I mean, they'll catch bass, but I'm using them for trout. And then you have here, you have the Bass Pro Shop. Well, the only place I've seen this, so I'm going to call it the Bass Pro Shop Special. Um, also because the Bass Pro logo, last time I got this, was engraved onto the cover of the box. Um, as you will see in my previous review of the rooster tail inline spinners. They are great, but uh, I already had this kit prior. I just lost a lot of them when I went trout fishing. Um, but these are more for bass. These are 1 fourth ounce. Um, they come with five regular inlines. And since this is the special box pack, you get one extra different styled one. This one, if you ask me, in my opinion, is more of a trout style. Um, it's also a little shorter and such, but I think its style is just more towards trout. So you have a total of six lures in this box. It's a pretty good deal for only about, I believe it was $15. Hold on, let me check. Yes, it was $15. And as for these little ones were about three dollars each and then good old maps over here is about five dollars each regardless of the size now for some spooks kind of like that lure i mentioned at the beginning that was transparent by bass pro shop it was um spook spook style so here we have a super spook junior and it has a feather tail, which is much better. Um, it's a much better type of spook than the non-tailed one. I mean, especially the Super Spook Junior. Um, I have uh, the the regular, like I have like say like a minnow colored one. It has a black bottom, um, a black top, and a chrome side. Um, I have one with a tail and one without a tail. I haven't really caught a fish on either one. Um, conditions weren't right, but the bone, this is a bone color, and the bone color I uh, hear does very well. So I am looking forward to using this, and I'm looking forward to using this, the Zara Puppy, which is the smaller version, which honestly I will probably use more often. Yeah, it doesn't have the tail. The Zara Puppies don't come with the tail, um, or have that option, because for the Super Spook Juniors, you have the option. I don't really see why, but okay. 
And then here, um, also the bone color. Looking forward to using this. Probably going to use this more often. It's a better pond bait as it's smaller. But if you're trying to catch the bigger fish, obviously you would like to use the Super Spook Junior. And then you have another Zara Puppy. And this one is going to be a baby bass color. Um, white bottom, green, black, and uh, black dots on the side. You know, looks like a baby bass because it's small and looks like a bass. Wonder why they named it that. This could take a while to figure out, don't you agree? Oh boy, I might have to shut the camera off for this one. No, I mean, I still couldn't figure out why they were called... Um, well, this one was called a baby bass, but that's besides the point. Either way, all of these, regardless of the size, were about $7. Now, moving aside to Striking XD crankbaits. Now, the XD series of Striking is going to be for extra deep, um, extra deep diving. This is the Series 3 XD. I don't know if you can really see that over all the red and different writing that's going on there. But 3 XD, and these dive 10 to 12 feet. And these will be great for some of the fishing I will be doing this year. This one is a crawfish color. So this will be good in dirty water. And it's a lighter crawfish. So it will also be pretty decent at the bottom of a clear water lake. And then here I have a shad type color. It's actually blue gizzard. But it's kind of like a shad. Um, this is also nice for very clear water lakes. Also 3XD diving 12, uh, 10 to 12 feet. And these Striking um, 3XDs were Striking's favorite price, uh, $6.49. And then for the last segment of the video, before I tell you how much this all costed, we have a Rapala X-Wrap. This is a jerkbait or slash bait, but, you know, slash bait, jerkbait. It's kind of the same thing, same deal. And this one has a feather tail, as you can see there. Um, this one is going to be called gold. The color is going to be gold. And this is kind of like, kind of like a clear water, dirty water. This is like a middle water situation. Although it'll definitely work in clear water. Um, because it's not too crazy, but it's not crazy enough to be used in dirty water. So this is like 10 foot clarity to, well, maybe even 6 foot clarity. I mean, it goes to 6 foot. But it's still going to be a little murky down there. So you know what we'll say? Four foot clarity to ultra clear water. This will probably be pretty good. It's kind of like, you know, it looks kind of like a shad. Black back, chromish orange side, orange tail. Moving on to a Rapala DT-10. And DT means dives two. And 10 is 10 feet. Swimming depth of 10 feet. And as it says right here. DT dives to and swimming depth of 10 feet if you can see in there I'm not sure but I can so I'll tell you and I did um, this one is going to be hot mustard color and this one looks kind of like a screwed up bluegill if you ask me um, but I got this because it's a brighter color and the deeper deeper water I mean rather rather regardless of it being super clear or you know, something along those lines, it's still going to be, you know, tough to see down all the way at the bottom in those low light conditions, say along a dock, under a dock, something like that. Um, you got this crankbait here, which dives to 10 feet and has like a yellowish bottom, a brown top, a silver stripe. It's, it's really an interesting color mixture. It's kind of like a bluegill type baby bass looking chartreuse crankbait deal. It's really an interesting mixture, and I didn't, I couldn't pick, I couldn't decide whether I wanted um, the natural bluegill or like a chartreuse or orange-sided regular crankbait like this. So I decided I'd get the mixture of both, so I can use it in both situations. Plus, I can't really find a DT10 around in my local stores, and both of these Rapala lures. Costed um, about eight forty nine each, I believe. Now, for the final segment of the video, where I tell you how much it all cost. Actually, 
Excuse me, that is my bad. I still have to show you what I got at Dick's. Then we will be on to the end where I tell you how much it's all cost. Going to what I got at Dick's, we have a spinnerbait box. And now with my tackle box and my 3600 series Plano boxes, well, my tackle bag and my 3600 Plano boxes, I do not have enough space for spinnerbaits because I run out of room for everything else. So I'll probably end up carrying a backpack with me to accommodate for my extra lures, um, extra boxes, this box, camera equipment, and water. Um, so I got a spinnerbait box. That should take care of it nicely. I can put the spinnerbaits in here, buzz baits in here. Holds up to, I believe it said, 36. Yep, 36 spinnerbaits. So, can't wait to fill this up and see how much space I get back from those big uh, space takers, you know, wire baits. Oh, by the way, this was about $8. To the Stren line, this is 10 pound, um, 1,275 yards, and it is uh, $10, um, excuse me, $8. Um, you know, Stren is, I don't think there'd be a problem with this line. 10, uh, 10 pound, Mono. I'll be using this on a bait caster that is soon to come in the mail. Um, stay tuned for a review, me using that, and um, me teaching how you guys how to use a bait caster, and for you to enjoy the experience of me learning how to, how, learning how to use a bait caster. And this here we have some field and stream braided line. Um, this is like an olive color or a low vis green. I don't know, can you see in there? You probably can't really see the color, but I'm sure you can see kind of something in there. So this is a 20 pound braid, and this is going to go on the new reel I get for my spinning rod, um, which Bass Pro did not have today. You know, I was planning on getting two reels today, but nope, no reels. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an interesting price tag of everything here with uh, without the addition of reels, let me tell you. But anyway, this field and stream braid, I wasn't so sure about it, so when I got home, I read some reviews on it. Um, the reviews said it wasn't uh, wasn't supposed to be that bad. They said they were very impressed with its performance. Um, it stood up great, and for the price of, I believe, $13, this was $13, um, it's the cheapest braid I saw all day. I went from Bass Pro Shop to Dick's, and let me tell you, I couldn't pick braid at Bass Pro because so much braid was expensive, I couldn't pray. I couldn't pick braid at Dick's because everything was so expensive that I was forced to go with the store brand. I honestly really didn't want to, but um, I did it, and I came home, read that review. I was uh, pretty, pretty satisfied and happy with my purchase. Now I can't wait to see if it works like that for me. Hopefully it does. Hopefully I am internally uh, or eternally happy with this purchase. Another reason for uh, getting so much of this line was for eight dollars is uh, not bad. Not bad for uh, twelve seventy-five yards at eight dollars. Um, but also for me learning how to use a bait caster, if I have to cut a couple spools out from birds' nests, I'll have plenty of leftover before I uh, upgrade to my trilene. Wow, that's all I have to say. You know, they didn't even have the reels. I'm really upset they didn't have the reels. You know. Especially one of them. The guy knew exactly what reel I was talking about. He had it there on the shelf. Oh, my size? No, don't have your size. We have a really big or really small. Wow, shocking. Anyway, I even tried to keep it a little cheap by buying store brand lures and store brand line. Um, it didn't keep it much cheaper, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I'm sure it actually helped out a lot. Because if I bought as many Strike King XDs as I bought as those... Uh, Best Pro Shop Deep Divers. I'm sure it would have been more like uh, 300 instead of 226. Um, but you know what? It happens. Uh, I'm still getting new into fishing, so I'm getting like a bunch of gear and stuff that I've uh, been looking at for a while and needing. So uh, I think the next big purchase you'll see on this channel is reels. And you can look forward to tackle unboxings all season long because I uh, buy tackle as the season goes. It's just, I don't think you're ever gonna see anything as expensive as this order for another long, long time. Also, by the way, most of this was on gift cards. The only cash I really spent was at Dick's.
but it's still unbelievable. But you know what? If you'd like to see more like it, you know, you can subscribe, like. That really helps out a lot. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great day. And, um, I mean, I had to spend some gift card money, right? And Bass Pro is an experience in itself. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go now. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Bye.